My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my assistant Dr. Watson. Indeed Holmes, and we are going to explain the difference between deductive and inductive reasoning, in problem solving, to our TVA friends. Right then, we will get started. Deductive reasoning is the tool I am famous for, in problem solving. It is a form of problem solving that works in reverse, from the facts you have on site. That's why it is imperative to preserve evidence and facts on the incident site. Holmes, we must explain more about why deductive reasoning is useful. My dear Watson, it is elementary. Deductive reasoning is a top-down approach, while inductive reasoning is a bottom-up approach. Yes, brilliant Holmes, but please explain more to our TVA participants about why deductive reasoning is the normative approach. Oh blast it all Watson. I was getting there. Deductive reasoning is the normative approach in problem solving, because you are typically arriving on scene after an event. They are facts to be gathered, interviews to be accomplished, and corrective actions to be applied. Starting from the event, all the actions are deduced from the failure back, using the Y testing and hypothesis proof technique, the reasons for the failure are thus deduced. This deductive approach is faster than inductive reasoning, and is therefore the most effective approach. Yes, Holmes, but please explain why inductive reasoning is important too. Yes, yes Watson. Inductive reasoning is indeed an important tool and has its place in investigation, but oftentimes more so in corrective actions. Inductive reasoning starts with the premise and works outwards. For instance, at TVA, you generate steam to make electricity. For an inductive reasoning approach, all the processes and equipment to do so are laid out in logical fashion. The failure modes for each critical system are analyzed for probability of failure, and ranked as such. The likelihood of failure is then able to be analyzed statistically and corrective actions assigned in rank order. The failure modes and effects analysis, FMEA tool, is a typical tool for effective inductive reasoning in system analysis problem solving. Holmes, this all seems very complicated. My dear Watson, it is all elementary. Simply put, in most cases you will solve problems by deductive reasoning. Remember, speak from facts. Facts alone must be your guide. All else is mere poetry. Now my dear friends learn all you can about the investigation and analysis process. If you prepare well, the analysis and reporting will be effective, and when you present your findings, it will go smoothly. I bid you good day and goodbye. I bid you farewell and good luck.